Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Med Study. Today in this video we are going to see about P and C history taking. So let's get started. First we have to take vitals as in age of woman, name of the woman, uh, delivered on uh, which date and time and gave birth to whether a full term or preterm baby, male or female child and weighing let's say 3 kgs or 2 kgs. Now coming to history of presenting complaints. Patient came with history of let's say 9 months of amenorrhea with true labor pains and after so many hours she gave birth to a full term or preterm male or female child weighing so many kgs. Now coming to details of history of presenting complaint. We have to take the details of delivery as well as the status of the baby. In details of the delivery we have to know whether it was a full term normal delivery or c-section. We have to know whether the episiotomy was given or not. We have to know for any history of postpartum hemorrhage or pregnancy induced hypertension. We have to know whether the mother passed urine and after how many hours of the delivery. Now coming to status of the baby. We have to know whether the birth was full term or preterm, whether it was a male or female child, birth weight of the child, whether it cried immediately after birth or not, whether passed meconium or not. We have to inquire whether, uh, whether the breastfeeding was started and time of breastfeeding. Now coming to history of present pregnancy. We have to know the number of antenatal visits and booking status, immunization status, any medication or radiation exposure in the pregnancy, medical or surgical complications during the pregnancy. We have to rule out the features of hyperemesis and threatened abortion in first trimester, pilitis in second trimester, anemia, preeclampsia and antepartum hemorrhage in third trimester. We have to know the obstetric history in which we have to know the marital status of the woman. We have to know the obstetric score in the form of gravida para. We have to record previous obstetric events in the form of a following chart which was detailed, discussed in detail in my previous video in ANC history taking. Now coming to menstrual history. We have to know the age at menarche. We have to know the cycle, duration, amount of blood flow and first day of last menstrual period. We have to calculate expected date of delivery by a neglige rule by adding 9, mon 9 months and 7 days or subtracting 3 months and 7 days from the first day of last menstrual period. This gives us a clue about the term or preterm or postterm delivery. If LMP is 1st January, ED becomes 8th of October. Now coming to past history, we have to know the history of similar complaints in past, we have to know any history of surgery or any major illness, we have to inquire for history of heart disease, renal disease, tuberculosis, urinary tract infection and prior hospitalization. We have to take detailed history of any treatment received for the disease during the present pregnancy. Now coming to fa family history, we have to know history of pre-eclampsia or eclampsia in the close family. We have to know the history of tuberculosis, hypertension, multiple pregnancy and recurrent pregnancy loss. Now coming to personal history. We have to take the history of diet and appetite, sleep, bowel and bladder habits of the woman. We have to inquire about addiction whether alcohol or smoking. We have to inquire about the method of contraception we used and also any drug allergy if present. So this concludes the PNC history taking. In the next video, I will be continuing with the PNC examination. So I hope you liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will never miss an update. Thank you.